to Art with Miss Chris. Today, we're gonna go into the insect world and we're gonna create a dragonfly. I really like dragonflies for a lot of reasons, but I just think they're so interesting. You mainly see them around waterways, um, lakes, rivers, ponds, things like that. They spend most of their time underwater. So I want to get started with what I'd like you to have for today. Um, a pencil as always. If you can find a black Sharpie, I'm using an old one, but I still, I have it around the house. This is a thin black Sharpie. That would be great. Um, and also something to color in your dragonfly with. Now I'm going to use watercolor paints today. And these, this is a set of watercolor paints that I really like. They're very inexpensive and the brand is called Artist Loft. And you can get um, these watercolors at Michael's Art Supply. Um, you can get them on Amazon, Hobby Lobby, I believe has this brand, but they give you such an assortment of colors and they're really good quality. So I recommend Artist Loft. Alrighty, so, and um, if you're gonna paint, use so get some water too to, to use for the watercolor paint. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start with the head of the dragonfly. So I'm gonna to come towards the top of my paper and I'm going to create three circle shapes that are all gonna kinda of connect. There's one, I'm gonna connect the other one. Those are gonna be the eyes, the eyes of my dragonfly, and then a top one. Okay, that's gonna be the head. So the dragonfly's eyes are really, really big. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is create the body of the dragonfly. So I'm gonna come out from the head and the eyes, the big eyes, and I'm going to create kind of a weird shape. It's gonna be kind of like this. And then as it goes down towards the bottom of your paper, it's gonna get really skinny. The dragonflies and um, butterflies are a lot similar, um, except dragonflies don't, they don't cocoon like a butterfly. They actually, they crawl out of the water as little larvae and then they break open their shells and their wings come out and then they have to dry their wings off for like two days as they harden. So. They have a different process, but they're really, really cool. So now we're gonna start, we have this, we're gonna make four little areas, four little lines. There's gonna be one, two. We're gonna go on the other side of the body and do the same thing. That's where we're gonna do the first two wings. And then the bottom wings, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go one, two, three, and four. So let's start with our first two wings. Now the dragonfly's wings are skinnier than the butterfly wings. So we're gonna go almost all the way to the, almost to the edge of our paper. And we're gonna create a skinny type of wing, like so. Now the hard part is going on the other side and trying to make it as similar as, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna go to the edge of my paper, and then I'm gonna come back. All right, there's my first two wings. Now, my bottom wings are a little different. So I'm gonna come, see how there's two marks that we made? I'm gonna come to the bottom part and I'm going to bend down and take this wing up like so. See how I did that? I kind of bent it down, hugs the body a little bit, then it goes out. Then I'm gonna come here to that top part of the mark and I'm gonna go across. Do the same thing, and I'm gonna go across. So now we have kind of the shape of the body. And we are gonna add two kind of like arms that come up like so, kind of like tentacles. And they come on the side. Now these dragonflies, they use these two arms or feet to catch their prey in the air. So they actually, when they're flying, 
They're kind of like hummingbirds. If you've ever seen a hummingbird fly, they fly, they can stop in the air and just be like a helicopter, just stop. And they have really good mobility and they're really fast and they catch their prey in the air. They eat a lot of mosquitoes, like hundreds a day of little teeny mosquitoes. So they're actually really good. All right, so we have the basis of our dragonfly. Now, I'm gonna show you one wing, and then I'm gonna show you how to do some of the body, and then I'm gonna move on to the painting process. So I'm just gonna put, you can design your wings any way you want, as long as you do the same design in this wing, and this, the same design in this wing, and the same design in this wing, and the same, design in this wing. You want some symmetry. So I'm just gonna, whatever I do over here, like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make a line like this in that wing. Then I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I want symmetry. And if I wanna do this wing, I wanna add a design. I'm gonna do it over here. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So if I'm gonna put lines in this, I'm gonna count them. One, two, three, Four, and I'm gonna come over here. One, two, three, and four. So we just keep doing that um, over here. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. So that really helps make your designs come alive. Now, I'm gonna say symmetry on the wings, but on the inside of the body, don't worry about symmetry. Just have fun making weird kind of markings. So I'm just gonna go in inside my dragonfly, and I'm gonna give him some weird bug-like markings. I really don't have a huge plan right now. I'm just letting my creativity take me. I'm gonna add some designs like that, like a little stripe. I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna come down here and make some curves. So I'm literally just letting it happen. No plan. I kind of like making art like that. I just let the energy of my day take me and let myself just have fun in my art. Art should be fun, okay? It shouldn't be so stringent that it's not fun. It's so it should be loose and it should be creative. That makes the best art. So I'm gonna show you one that I've been working on. Okay, so you can get an idea of what, what's going on here. So this is one that I did yesterday. And of course it looks a little different because it was yesterday. Um, but you can see that I took a black Sharpie and I went in all my designs and had fun. Okay, I just got like, a little loose with it. I went like back and forth. I made some, see, I made some dots. I made some dots inside. I made other lines. Whatever I did over here, I did over here. So I repeated the patterns through it and I just went for it. Now I did that with a black Sharpie, a thin, thin black Sharpie. Um, and the reason I did it with a black Sharpie, if you have a black pen, that's fine, but Sharpies don't bleed. And that's the really nice thing about Sharpies is that when you put water on them, they don't bleed. Like if you use like a different kind of pencil or pen um, and you put water on it, it would just, it, the, the black ink would go everywhere. So that's why I'm a big fan of the Sharpies. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it's like to go in and add color to this with paint. So I'm using my Artist Loft palette, like so. And I'm gonna just start with a color. Now I feel the color purple today really strongly. Sorry, I feel the color purple today really strongly. So I'm gonna get my paint, I'm gonna get my water and I'm gonna go into this dark purple color. And see, I just added water to it and I'm going back and forth a few times to get it nice and juicy. And I wanna show you how strong this color is. So I'm gonna go into some of my designs right now and add this purple. I'm gonna go into my stripe. Look how look how dark and rich that color is. 
It's so dark and rich because these paint these paints are really high quality and I just love that they're five dollars. Like a really good deal. At least they are at Michael's. So I added some purple. What I did on one side, I did on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna get a maroon color. So I'm looking at this color right here. I'm gonna do the same thing, go back and forth, get, a, get the paint moving. And I'm gonna add that color. I'm gonna add that to this stripe. Okay, I'm gonna get a little more and add it to this stripe. Alright, um, at this point, you can do anything you want with the paint. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to continue with my colors of purple and red. I'm going to add a few more stripes. Now, one thing that would be cool, like if I picked a different color from a different family. So these are kind of warm colors, but I might, I might want to pick a cool color to add in this just to give it a different feel. So I'm gonna go in my palette and look for some cool colors, like the blues and the greens. So all the warm colors are to the right, the reds and the yellows, my cool colors are to the left. So I'm gonna go in here and find this really nice light blue color, and I'm gonna play with that a little bit in my design now. So now I'm adding three colors. So I'm gonna add that in some of my areas. Now, what's a really good idea when you're coming up with a color palette, when you're making art, is to, is to really think about, like, not using a million colors, not like a rainbow, using like maybe three to four colors in a piece of artwork. It's a really nice thing to do. Then it doesn't become too busy. And then just balancing those colors. So maybe I'm gonna put some blue in here. I'm gonna actually let some of that purple just come into that blue. Let that purple just come, come right into it. Now, another pretty thing that you can do with watercolor paint, I'm gonna show you it, is you can add the water first. So I'm adding water right here. So I added the water, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go pick, um, um, I'm gonna go pick a turquoise kind of color. The turquoise green and I'm just gonna let let it kind of go in the water let, let the water just take it and if I want to add something another color to that and just kind of let it bleed together see what would be pretty with turquoise I think yellow would be really pretty in that because yellow and yellow is part of making turquoise. It's blue, green, and yellow, pretty much. So I'm just gonna let that, you know, just let it play. And see how that Sharpie, it just stays under there and doesn't bleed, that's why it's really cool. So I'm just gonna kinda have fun now and just play and let, let the watercolor just guide me through. And I'm gonna take my time. Maybe the eyes, I'm gonna go into, into like a dark brown. I haven't looked that closely at a dragonfly, but I bet the eyes are pretty dark. Uh, maybe I'll add a little bit of, a few brown areas in here. So the fun part about painting, and if you don't have any little watercolors yet, I recommend getting some because they're really, really fun to work with. And all you have to do is add a little, add a little water. That's it. And just play. Like, I'm just playing right now. I don't really have a plan. I'm just letting, letting the paint lead me through. Balancing the colors that I have. So I see how I did yellow like that. I'm going to go on the other side, kind of mimic the same design. And I am kind of letting the colors 
bleed into each other a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it. It's kind of fun. Sometimes when the wrong colors bleed into each other, they are, um, it can be like pretty gray or muddy looking. So you have to be a little careful with not too much, too much of the letting the colors bleed. So at this point, I'm just going to keep going and I'm just going to have fun. And I'm just going to let the paint lead me through. I'm going pretty fast, but it's kind of fun just to go for it. And you can watch along. And I'm just going to let this take me through the paint. Now paint too, it's like, it goes really fast. I mean, you can take it a lot slower than I am. I'm definitely speeding it up here. All right, I'm almost done with this piece of art, Dragonfly Adventures. And I hope this summer you see one. If you guys get to a lake or a river and you see one, just know that these dragonflies, they're ancient creatures. They've been around for 300 million years. These creatures were around when the dinosaurs were around. So they're very ancient and they're very, very interesting. So boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week and create some beautiful dragonflies as we go. We get close to the end of our school year and summer's coming and a lot of fun to be had. So thank you, have a great day. Bye -bye.